been missing out the walk with the mini. Uh, uh, I been building all the blocks like a mini. Uh, uh, Elliot got water dripping out the city. Uh, uh, oh my god, boy, he got it. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to it. Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Jay. I'm 18. I'm a college student, a lifestyle vlogger, and an aspiring barber, and this is my life. Today, I think I'm going to be doing, um, I found some questions on Pinterest, because, like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep up with the consistency, consistency of posting every other day, um, which isn't easy because I'm busy a lot with like work and school and all of that, but but I'm um, trying to keep up with the consistency. So I found some questions on Pinterest that I thought would be a good idea to answer. So that's what I'm gonna do. When was the last time you were serious about somebody? Now, my current relationship, we've been together, will be eight months tomorrow. Um, and I'm actually really serious about this one. Cause like there's a lot of commitment in the relationship um like she constantly there's a lot of commitment and reassurance and communication like she constantly reassures me like hey i'm not going nowhere i love you we're gonna we're gonna make this work we're gonna get through it and like complimenting me all the time just like she she makes me feel wanted and that makes me want to commit to the relationship and that makes me want to be serious about it so now I, i'll probably say now is the last time i was serious about somebody can you have sex without feelings involved yes yeah i mean yeah like i'm sure i'm sure everybody's done it at least once like without feelings but now no Should I no i cannot like yeah like you could be in a relationship without feelings you could do a lot of things without feelings so i feel like having sex without feelings isn't really any different um it just depends on the person and like what led up to that but yeah i think so why are you single i am not single we've been together we're gonna make a year uh we'll be a year soon but we're gonna make eight months tomorrow i'm not single do you catch or lose feelings quickly i do both i catch feelings really quick but the second you give me a reason to lose those feelings i'm gonna lose them and like i am the best at playing that game where like okay we not cool no more we stop talking you don't exist to me like literally i will pretend like we never met i'll pretend like you don't exist you will regret whatever you did to make me lose those feelings would you take any of your exes back absolutely the hell not no i should do bro i should do a whole little thing where i talk about each of my exes and why i broke up with them without names because like i don't want to expose nobody that's disrespectful do you believe in second chances yes i do and the reason and this is a question that my girlfriend asked me she asked me why i believe in second chances the reason i believe in second chances is because i've been given so many um as far as me messing up or me almost doing something that i would have deeply regretted um if i went through with it and i feel like second chances everybody deserves a second chance second chances are a very big part of life so yes i believe in second chances what's the hardest thing about dating me i notice everything i notice everything i overthink everything um the second like like if we're having a conversation i can notice the smallest shift in your mood i can notice if you stop holding eye contact with me if you start getting distracted or if your your responses get shorter like literally i notice everything i overthink everything um i think that's the hardest thing about dating me and that like that's the hardest thing about dealing with me in general is that i overthink everything like I could, I could be trying to show you a picture or something that I've been laughing at and you don't laugh. And I'm like, maybe they hate me. Maybe they don't want to be around me right now. But in reality, it just wasn't funny to you or you're distracted because you're busy. Are relationships ever worth it? It depends. It really depends. It, it, it really does depend on how good the relationship is and how much commitment there is. The commitment, the communication, the trust, the consistency 
I feel like a relationship is worth it if both people are willing to work for it, to, to work for that relationship. Like if you're putting all the effort in and the other person isn't, it's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. Um, but if y'all are both like consistency, consistently um, reminding each other of like, basically like the, the reassurance, if y'all are consistently reassuring each other and showing effort towards the relationship, then yes, it's definitely worth it. Relationships are worth it. It just depends on how good the relationship is. You commit to one person. Yeah. I can't, I've had trouble with that in the past. There was a situation where I was like caught between two people that I was very close to. I was close to both of them. Still close, to, well, I'm close to, I'm really close to one of them now, not as close to the other one, but there was a whole situation where I was like caught in between two people and I was like having to, basically I was in the end forced to choose at some point and like that was hard, but I did make the choice and I feel like I made the right decision. And if I could go back, I would do it all over again and make that same choice. So yes, I can't commit to one person. Are looks important in a relationship? Bro, this is a big one. I don't wanna say yes, but at the same time, I don't wanna say no. Like, looks don't really matter to me, but if you look like Morgan Freeman and The Rock had a gay love child, I can't do it. Like, just being honest, like, looks looks are not really really important to me like you could have flaws and imperfections everybody has flaws everybody has imperfections everybody has insecurities that's fine but if you just straight ugly if you just straight ugly like no i can't do it i i just can't i can't do it but i would i can't really sit here and truthfully say that looks matter to me I guess it just, it really depends on like, do you fit my preference? Like, do you fit my type? Cause when it comes to, I guess when it comes to like physical and looks, my type is really like light skin, brown skin, short. Like that, like literally that's it. That's ev pretty much every girl that I have been with has fit that description. Short and either light skin or brown skin. Your hair, your eyes, none of that matters to me. Your smile, like if you have a smile that makes me smile, and if you have eyes that makes me want to sit there and stare at them for hours, that like that's it. But as far as looks, like no, that doesn't really matter to me. Why did your last talking relationship end? I don't even remember my last talking relationship. Oh, 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 wait. I, yes, I do. It was it was in my junior year of high school. I was dating this girl. We just gonna call her J. Um, Cause like I said, I'm not exposing her names, but we gonna call her J. The reason that it ended, I guess I was being too clingy. It was that and she wasn't serious about the relationship and she wasn't ready to commit. And I didn't know that beforehand. So it's like, I got played cause like, the whole time I'm thinking like, yeah, I got a girlfriend. But whole time we just talking, me not knowing that. And then she hit me, she hit my phone. She like, is you telling people we dating? I'm like, yeah, why? She like, we're not, don't do that. Like, damn, okay. Describe your perfect relationship. Uh, The one I have now, where we can be goofy together. We can be vulnerable with each other. We can, we can, rely on each other for strength and guidance and protection and we can we can have a good time together like just uh yeah like we could just we can have a good time together we can be vulnerable like i need to know that i'm safe with you i need to know that i can fall asleep in your arms and i'll wake up and you'll still be there or i'll wake up with all of my body parts still attached to me like I need to know, <laughs> I need to know that I'm safe with you. I need to know that I can tell you anything with no judgment, with no you going around telling people. I need, I also need to know that you can give me constructive criticism because something that I don't like is if I, if I fuck up and I know I fucked up and I tell you that I fucked up, but you won't admit that I fucked up. Like you like, oh, okay, it's fine. Like everybody does it. Bless you. 
But yeah, if you like, yeah, it's fine. Everybody does it. Da, 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 don't sugarcoat it. Tell me, let me know that I messed up and then let me know how I can fix it. Don't just, don't just let that slide. Cause I'm not the, I'm not going to say I'm the type of person to keep doing something if you don't stop me, but I'm the type of person to keep doing something if you don't stop me. So I need, I need constructive criticism sometimes. So I need somebody that can be honest with me, basically. We ended up doing a store run to go get um, Halloween decorations. So that's going to be part of the vlog. Okay. Uh, this going to fall. This is definitely going to fall. We're doing a little separate mini vlog going Halloween shopping. Mama! 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 We're doing a separate mini vlog going Halloween shopping at Dollar Tree. No, don't do that. First of all, I already started recording while we was in the house. Yeah, but you need to be absolute. We don't got damn Halloween shopping at Dollar Tree. We're going to get some minor decorations because I'm sure we're about to go down on top. Yeah, okay. well, we're going to get minimal Start. Start Halloween. Yeah, I, the game, no, I didn't say costumes. I said decorations. Shit, you said costumes. I'm just saying. I need costumes. You need to hurry up so I can tell my music about it. I'll come back when we're not in the car. Y'all say it to the vlog. Hey! Hey! I, okay, I wait, fuck, wait, look, come on, I'll wait, wait, wait. With Tory Lanez before I you drive it, stop. Um, okay, wait, so why do you feel like you no, can't listen to Tory Lanez no more? Not your YouTube channel. Why do you feel like you can't listen to Tory no more? That's not the interview you're getting from me. Why not? Because your mother is such a mogul in so many other ways that the fact that you try to record me based on Tory Lanez and Megan Thee No, I'm just saying this. This not even you should interview. Be it's just me mine. How you make so much money right now with no college degree? Okay, how you make so much money right now with, with no college? No, you can't ask that after I say it. Mama, okay, but for real, why you feel like you can't listen to Tory Because he shot me. Not because he shot her. Because. He got convicted of it, which means he actually did it. And mm. because I listened to her song about how it affects her, and I fuck with her. So the fact that she had to make a song about some shit, and she everybody else doing it. Yes. What do you mean? What are you talking about? I didn't know she made a song about getting shot. Oh, that's you mean the dish? Plan B? Yes. That's, oh. What's wrong with you? I didn't, I don't, I didn't listen to you. Yeah, so... I listen to him more than I listen to him. I used to, I always listen to him, but now, oh brother, you get a B I T C H move. <laughs> so I can't fuck with him. Mm. So if is. if Megan attacked Drake, who would you side with? Because you you like both of them. I love both of them. It depends on the situation. This isn't about who attacked who. It's about the whole. The circumstance of the situation. So, if Megan and Drake got into a fight, initially I'm signed with Megan because Drake is a dude. That's so why y'all fight? No, listen. Let me. Can I finish or not? So like, why y'all fighting? First of all, why you fighting a female now? But if you was rooting for Megan to win and she won. Nah, I wouldn't be doing that because I don't like that. Mm. What is this in the street? The person that shouldn't be in the street. Tell me what is this like it's not a whole person. It's a whole person. Mama. You should be ashamed of your cause she's big. I didn't even know it was she. That's that's even worse. Alright, we made it to the store. Oh, that's what this place is. That's a whole person too. So we gonna look at the nurse lead. Nurse lead. Okay, we made it. Uh huh. Oh, come on. We Halloween decoration shopping. 
look, I'm hot. Okay, uh, we're back in the house. So, back to the questions. What do you look for in someone? Honesty, commitment. Um, you have to be able to match my energy because I'm a crackhead sometimes. I like to play. I like to play. I like to be goofy. I have a lot of energy. So, I need you to be able to match that energy. Be please, please, please be honest with me. Don't lie to me. I won't lie to you. Don't lie to me. Be just be honest. Are you the jealous type? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm. I am the jealous type. I hate seeing you talk to other people. I hate seeing you spend time with other people. I hate hearing you talk about other people. I hate it. But I'm not the toxic jealous type. Like I'm not gonna overdo it. Like, oh, uh, why don't you go talk to your other? Blah, blah, blah. Like, that's not me. I'm gonna be jealous. I'm just not gonna make it known and like be extra with it do you want any kids yes i want a daughter i want a daughter my girlfriend wants a son and a daughter i just want a daughter any regrets i have a lot of regrets i'm not gonna list any of them but yes i have a lot of regrets but do you forgive betrayal it depends because that goes back to the second chances but it depends on how bad the betrayal was and how many times it's happened um and who it's from i can forgive one small one very minor betrayal but like if it's a reoccurring thing or if it's just like a really big one no social or anti-social i don't like people i'm anti-social but i will from time to time talk to somebody but i'm not that you won't catch me at every party you will not catch me in everybody tiktok you won't catch me talking to everybody and their mama i don't like people uh, what's my worst fear my worst fear is going my worst fear is ending up in the dark place that i was in two years ago after i worked so hard to get out of it and find some mental stability so ooh. what did i feel good my head itching do you believe in true love i'm sorry my head itches so bad okay do you believe in true love Yes, I believe everybody has a chance of finding true love. You just have to know what you're looking for and where to look. Sometimes it'll pop up right in front of you and you won't know it. So, yes. Does your life have meaning? I would like to think so. Okay, um, I'm back. I had to take a quick intermission to get some stuff done. But next question is, what would you want your final words to be? That's a weird question. Um... I've never really thought about that because I don't think about dying anymore. Um, but I guess whoever I'm with, hopefully I'm not alone, but whoever I'm with, just to let them know that I appreciate them being there with me. And I'm glad I got to have them in my life before I left. What impression do you think you give when you first meet someone? Quiet and shy. Like I said, I'm antisocial. I don't like people. I'm not the type to strike up a conversation. You'll really have to you'll you'll really have to get me to talk. Five things that irritate you about the opposite or same sex. Um, five things that irritate me about niggas. When and I know a few dudes like this where they think like, oh, you still a female, I can turn you back. Like, have you ever tried it before like try something to be sure nigga you try something to be sure how you know you ain't gay you can't turn me back like what's something else men that let their men with fragile masculinity like a dude that will be in the gym and see a woman lifting more than he is and automatically say like oh i could beat that or that ain't nothing or she she probably you know she probably taking steroids like dude just accept that she's stronger than you and move on. It's not that it's not that serious. Hmm. Third thing. Dudes that think personal hygiene and self-care makes them gay. Washing your face and using face masks, using lip masks, exfoliating, shaving, that does not make you gay. It makes you clean. And if you think that makes you gay, your booty cheeks probably glued together by Dookie. Just being honest. Um, fourth thing. It's crazy I can't think of anything and there's like so many things that upset me about niggas. 
Um, fourth thing, that you assume that just because you're a man, that your woman is supposed to obey you. I know in some cultures that's the case, but like here in America, we don't do that. You being a man does not make you the boss because there have been a lot of couples where it's like, like you ever heard, heard the, uh, the saying, happy wife, happy life. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as happy husband, happy life. It's happy, the happy couple, happy life is what I go by. There's no, oh, I'm wearing the pants, so I'm in charge. No. Because most of the time, if I tell my girlfriend to, to do something, she'll do it. And also, most of the time, if she tells me to shut up, I'm going to shut my ass up. Like, okay, fine. I'm not, like, like she doesn't, she's not in charge of me, and I'm not in charge of her. But, like, there's times where I'll do what she says, and she'll do what I say. Like, that's just how we work sometimes. Um, 15... Men that are threatened by gay men. And when I say this, I mean like, oh, you gay, don't be trying to hit on me. Nigga, you're ugly. You probably don't watch. You still live with your mama. Why would he be trying to, Why you, you assuming just because he likes men, he likes you? No, you probably don't even qualify as a real man. Uh, Five things about me, five, not me, five things about females that upset me. Women that think that just because they're a girl, that if you attack a dude, you won't get hit back. You hit like a man, you gonna get hit back like a man. Equal, equal fights, equal, equal rights, equal fights. Like, I hate girls that say, oh, I'm a girl, you can't hit me. Cause me, if I do end up having a son, teach your daughters to keep their hands to themselves. Cause I'm gonna teach my boy to fight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach my son that he has every right to put his hands back on that little trick. Just because you're a man does not mean you hit a girl. You never hit a girl first. Don't you ever put your hands on a girl first. But if she put your, if she put her hands on you first, you have every right to knock the hell out of her. Same thing with girls. Same thing with, with my daughter. Don't ever hit a man first because I cannot 100% tell you that if you do, he won't beat the shit out of you because he might. So... Yeah, but like, just cause you're a girl don't mean he won't hit you back or that he can't hit you back. Um, number two, girls that think being mean makes them a bad B. Um, like, 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 for example, there's, there's the hot Cheeto girl and then there's the mean girl. The hot Cheeto girl is like extra and she wears like just from my 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 uh my experience with them she's extra and she she's she's loud sometimes she got on them nails and them eyelashes and she might seem like a mean girl but she will always be the one to stand up for the quiet kids that get picked on by the mean girls i do not like girls that think that being mean makes them it no it makes you look stupid first of all it makes you look like a small person. Like, that's not... No. Number three. I hate... I won't say I hate, but I don't understand masculine girls that won't accept that they're still girls. Bro, there's a fly somewhere and it's getting on my nerves. But um, I don't like masculine girls that won't accept that they're girls. Like me... I'm, I'm, I'm what you would consider a stud, but I know I'm a female. I don't want to be a boy. I dress like a boy because it's what I feel comfortable in. I don't want to be a boy because I could turn into a sassy bad bitch in a second, but like, I know I'm still a female and I don't understand how some of y'all can sit there and like, oh yeah, I'm a nigga. I'm a sir. Don't call me no girl. I ain't your shorty. I'm your nigga. What? Sir, young sir, young fella. You was born with a vagina, okay? Let's just leave it at that. Going back to the, the mean girl thing, I don't like girls that give backhanded compliments. Like um, a, a bigger, I, I don't wanna use the wrong word because I, I really don't know how else to say it. Like yeah, a plus size girl 
could come to school with something on that a skinnier girl would usually wear. And a skinny girl would be, walk up and be like, oh my God, I love your confidence. That's not a compliment at all. That's not a compliment. And a lot of people think it is. That's not a compliment to say, oh my God, I love your confidence. That's like saying, I love how confident you are. You like you're ugly, but you you're so confident you don't see that. That's not a compliment. I don't like I don't like people in general that give backhanded compliments, but I feel like it's worse when it comes from a girl just because of the way that you say it. I don't know. And number five, girls that girls that pick me girls. Bro, pick me girls. I hate it. I hate it so bad. I hate it so 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 bad. There was this one girl, dude, when I was in like eighth grade, she came to school with a piece of tinfoil glued to her nose to make it look like she got a piercing. Somebody walked up to her and went like this and flicked it off her nose and she cried for a good two hours. Why is you doing all of that for attention, dude? It's not cute. It's not funny. It's not giving you the kind of attention that you want. Like, why would you do that to yourself? Um. Anyway, next question. Three words that best describe me. Introvert, um, creative, and probably autistic, but not for real. Um, I'm an introvert, I'm creative, and I'm always honest. If you ask me for the straight up truth, like don't sugarcoat it, I'm not going to. I'm going to be bluntly honest with you. And it might hurt your feelings, but I'm going to always be honest. Biggest obstacle you had to overcome um depression i fell into a very very deep depression when i was 14 or 15 and um just like started getting out of it i don't i don't feel depressed anymore like i still have really bad anxiety but i don't feel depressed anymore it's more like um i just have bad days but i think the biggest obstacle that i had to overcome was going through at least a good two or three years of depression. Do you stay friends with your exes? <laughs> no. No. The only ex that I have ever stayed friends with, we was together for maybe two weeks, literally. And we was just like, you know what? This feels weird. Let's just go back to being friends. Um, We don't talk anymore. I haven't talked to her in years, but that was the only ex that I have ever stayed friends with and probably will ever stay friends with. Is it possible to live life, to live a life without lies? No. And that, that, that probably sounds bad, but just being completely honest, no. Like, it's, it's human. Is there a cat outside the window? <laughs> it's human nature to lie. And sometimes lies can save your life. Lies can save other people's lives. It might hurt people, but I feel like lying is necessary sometimes. It really just depends on the context of what you're lying about and why you're lying and who you're lying to. But yeah, I don't think it's possible to live without. Y'all seen that, right? Bro, I'm finna kill it. But I don't think it's possible to live without a lie. I'm sorry, y'all. I had to kill that fly. Um, What am I most afraid of? Being lonely. I'm not afraid of being alone. I like being alone. I like to have my space and just be in my own world. But I don't want to be lonely. Like, I don't want to get to the point where I have nobody to turn to or nobody to. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't, I'm afraid of being lonely, but I'm not afraid of being alone. I could be alone all day and be completely fine. What triggers you to cry? I don't like being yelled at. Please don't yell at me. If you yell at me, I'm going to cry and then I'm going to yell back at you. I'm sensitive. I'm so sensitive. Do not yell at me because I will cry and then I'll yell back. And then if you keep yelling, then I'm going to want to fight. So just don't, please don't yell at me. When was the last time you felt loved? <sighs> Earlier today, I texted my girlfriend with some very bad news and she was like, 100% supportive like she let me know like I'm here we'll get through this together she didn't say she didn't say like whenever I come to her with something she doesn't say you're gonna get through this she says we will get through this together and she always lets me know that she's here for me and that she cares 
And that makes me feel loved to know that I have somebody, to know that she's actually here for me and really means it. So yeah, earlier today. <laughs> what do parents do that ruin their children at an early age? I'm gonna just sum it up in one sentence because like there's so many things, but I'm gonna sum it up into one sentence. Do not raise your kids the way that your parents raised you because most parents' goal is to be a better parent to their kids than their parents were to them. If you know you can be a better parent, don't raise your kids the way your parents raised you. And a lot of parents say, oh, well, I'm just raising you the best way I know how, how I was raised. But if you know you was raised wrong, why would you want to put your kids through that too, knowing that's not the right way? And I'm going to just leave it at that because I could go on about that for hours. What is your definition of cheating? My definition of cheating could be... I won't say talking to another person because that's a very broad statement. So maybe like being intimate with another person the way that you would be intimate with me. Like don't don't share don't share the intimate moments and the romantic moments that you have with me. Don't recreate those with other people because that's cheating. Like uh you could hug somebody from behind and like bury your face in their neck. That's cheating. If you do that with me, why would I want to see you doing that with somebody else? Because then if I turn around and do it, you're going to be heated. Not I'm not I'm not talking about my girlfriend specifically. I'm just saying like just answering the question. But um yeah, like don't share our moments of intimacy with other people. Don't share our moments of romance with other people. Don't like, don't be all touchy-feely. Don't let people do stuff to you or do stuff with you that you wouldn't want me to let other people do with me. So, yeah, that's that's my that's my idea of cheating. Name a time you felt you weren't good enough. Uh, I just recently had to drop a class because I was struggling to keep up with the work and I couldn't figure out how to turn in the assignments. It was just really confusing. It was really, really confusing, and um, and the teacher wasn't really being very clear with the directions on how to turn in the work and how to do the work, and like it was a lot. And I sort of blame myself for that because I feel like like you're in college now, you shouldn't be having these problems. You're too old to not be able to know how to turn in your work, and that just made me feel like you're not good enough for this class. You're not good enough to get this grade. Like, you just need to give up. So I ended up dropping the class. But I'm going to take it next semester. I'm not just giving up completely. I just know that it's a lot for me to handle and try to balance this semester. So I'm going to take it next semester. Who do you rely on for support? My siblings, my girlfriend, and my mom. Well, okay, I'll just say my family, my girlfriend, and my best friend. I know that my family, as badly as they irk my nerves sometimes, I know I can always rely on them for support. Like, it it, it could be my, my nine-year-old brother. And, like, I know that sounds crazy, but it could be my nine-year-old brother. Like, I'll be sitting in my bed crying or something, and he'll walk in my room and see me crying and be like, hey, what's wrong? And, like, he'll just sit there. Like, he won't even say anything. He just He'll just sit there with me until I feel better. Um, my girlfriend, she's my, she's probably my second biggest support system apart from my parents. She's probably my second biggest support system ever. Like she literally, she supports everything I do. She lets me know like, Hey, I'm behind you 100%. Um, she cheers me on for everything and prays for me and prays with me and wishes me good luck with everything. I know I can rely on her for anything. Um, and my best friend, we have been best friends since 2019. We've been best friends for, shit, I think like four years now. Um, we met when we were freshmen. We had a little disagreement where we like wasn't friends for like maybe three days, two days tops. No, three days tops, but like she's been my best friend for four years. Um, and it's that kind of friendship where like we don't talk every single day of every single second but i always know if i need to i can go to her instantly and she knows too like if 
if something's happening with her parents or if she's in a relationship and something's wrong or like whatever the case may be, she knows immediately, come to me. You can rely on me. I know I can rely on her. That Those are my biggest support systems. Last question to close it out. What's a deal breaker for you in a relationship? Okay, well, no, not the last question because I want to answer this one too. Uh, but what's a deal breaker for you in a relationship? If you can't match my energy, that's a deal breaker. If you can't match my energy, because like I said, I have crackhead energy 24-7. I like to play. I like to do fun stuff. I want to have karaoke concerts at 3 in the morning. Like, that's that's the type of energy that I have. If you And when I say match my energy, I mean like... If I can't be goofy around you without you making me feel like I'm doing too much or I'm being annoying, she probably wants to leave now. That's a deal breaker for me. I need somebody that can match my energy that I know that I have that reassurance like, okay, I'm not being a pest. And if I am, tell me. Tell me like, hey, dial it down a little bit. I'm, I, I've had a long day or I'm trying to focus or I just need a minute. Like, let me know. But if you cannot match my energy, that's a that's a that's a complete deal breaker for me okay this is the last question what kind of parent do you think you'll be oh what kind of parent do i think i'll be i know i'm not gonna be super strict with my kids i'm not gonna try to regulate everything that they do i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be a helicopter parent i'm gonna be a supportive i'm gonna be the friend but also the parent like you can come to me and tell me anything. I don't want my kids' first thought when they do something wrong. I don't want their first thought to be, my mom's going to kill me. I want their first thought to be, I need to call my mom. Like, I don't I don't want my kids to be afraid of me. I don't want my kids to think they have to hide anything from me. I don't want my kids to feel intimidated by me. None of that. I don't want to be the type of parent that I've seen so many parents be my own included like I love my parents they do the best that they can they are amazing parents but I know that I can do better than what they do and I will do better than what they do I hope y'all like this video if you want to see more like this comment like subscribe turn on the notifications bell so you can be notified post notifications bell so you can be notified for whenever I drop videos which is I'm gonna try to drop every week um go follow my snap my instagram um TikTok, all of that will be in all of the, the links for that will be in the bio down below. Um, yeah, share this video with your friends and let me know what y'all want to see next. And I will see y'all next time. Me, oh, oh, Elliot got water dripping out the city. Oh my god, oh, he got it.